today's video, I will be sharing this sweet bread recipe with oatmeal. All you have to have is water, yes, wheat flour, and salt. So let's get started. This is so easy and it's so delicious. You don't want to buy bread from the store again. Enjoy! Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be baking some wheat bread. So I'm going to be using just few ingredients. So for our first ingredients, I'm going to be using three and one fourth cup of wheat flour. So the wheat flour that I'm using is this brand, the organic. Uh, I bought that from Publix and then I have two cups of warm water. One teaspoon of active dry yeast. And then two teaspoon of salt. So those are the ingredients that we're going to be using to make this sweet bread. And so let's get started everyone. But before we go any further, if you are new to our channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Also hit the bell, that way you will be notified whenever I upload a new videos. And if you are returning subscribers, thank you so much for joining here with me today. So I'm going to mix this bread while, because uh, I have other things to do, because I have to let this rise. So I'm going to get my mixing bowl. So I'm going to be using my mixing bowl here. And I'm going to pour my wheat flour. And then I'm going to put my yeast, my salt, and I'm going to slowly blend this together before I add my water. So I choose to get the organic wheat flour, but you can use any wheat flour brand that you want, organic or not. This is just my preferences, my preference. Alright, so now I'm going to make a little hole in, in the middle to pour my water. So I'm going to add the water just a little at a time. So I won't be needing this much. Once I mix this one, I'm going to just let this rise here inside the bowl. So if you want this to be sweet, you can add sugar, but I don't want to add sugar because um, we're going to eat this with like peanut butter, jelly, so I don't want to overload it with sugar. So I'm just going to mix this well. So everyone, since I'm out of aluminum foil and saran wrap, I'm using my wax paper and I'll just put towel, the clean towel on the top. And I'm going to let this sit here until I um, get the, you know, until it's risen really. So now I'm going to go work out and I'll be back. Now that the dough is ready, it's time to form this into like, you know, like a <clears throat> sourdough form. So I'm gonna add some wheat flour on the top of the cutting board. I like using this cutting board because you know it's easy for me to roll everything in here. So this is like my cutting board for baking everything really. I always clean it. So I'm just taking out all the dough from the bowl and I'm gonna scrape this using my spatula but for right now I'm just using my hand because uh, the spatula is on the other end of the kitchen. It's not far, but I just didn't want to go out and get it. So just scrape all the dough from the bowl and mix it. You know, not really mix it well, not kneading it. Just trying to form this into like a ball. That way it looks good once you put it inside the Dutch oven. So my oven is preheated at 450 and I'm going to bake this for 25 minutes. It depends on the oven. Some people cook this for 20 minutes it really is depends because for some reason our oven is so different the temperature is different you know each time i follow a recipe i found online and i cook it the way they said it's not cooked yet so i kind of like decided to just you know time it on my own and when it's cooked i know exactly when the bread is cooked so in here i'm trying to mix the 
do a little bit and put in some wheat flour but it's still sticking in my hand so I just keep adding flour until it doesn't stick on my hand it was very sticky but boy did, did this dough smell so good the mixture of dough I mean the wheat flour yes salt and water is just perfect and if you want this uh, bread to be sweet you can add sugar and actually I add about a tablespoon of salt it's not salty you can still taste the salt and I really like the way it tastes even my husband told me today that it really tastes delicious so if you don't want to add a lot of salt just add a teaspoon of salt it would be okay so I'm just gonna keep forming this or mixing some of the wheat flour until it's easier for me to form the ball for five minutes so now I'm gonna get my Dutch oven that way I can transfer the uh, dough in the Dutch oven so I'm gonna use this because it's hot oh, that looks so pretty. and my oven looks rough because that's how I've been uh, this is what I've been using to make bread so i'm just gonna sprinkle some flour in the bottom and now i'm gonna put flour on my hand that way nothing will stick as you can see it's super hot <laughs> just be very careful guys so now i'm gonna form this and put this inside the pot all right so now i'm gonna slice a little bit that way i can kind of have a decoration for it I just love decorating the bread so let me show you what I'm doing so that's what I'm doing I'm just slicing a little bit you can design this however you want but this is how I want it and now I'm gonna put some oatmeal on the top that way it added a nice more flavor so just so I think that's good so that's how the bread look everyone sorry guys I'm holding my camera so it looks really good let me see so now I'm gonna put this in the oven and let it bake for 25 minutes on 400 so everyone the bread is finished um, I let this cook for about <clears throat> 25 minutes because you know some oven our oven heat different I don't know why but look at this everyone oh it looks so so beautiful oh my goodness i'm so excited for my husband to taste this so i'm gonna let this sit here for a little bit well i can probably scoop it hold on hold on guys i'm in the middle of cleaning as well while baking so what i'm gonna do is <clears throat> transfer this in my other pan here and i'm just gonna put my the towel i use this is clean that way the bread can sit there and make sure it's not sticking in the bottom yay oh my god i'm so proud of myself so proud of myself ah, gorgeous overloaded <clears throat> so
So I'm gonna move this that way you can see the bread. And this is how the bread look everyone oh my goodness sorry sorry this is so gorgeous I'm so proud of myself so I can't wait for my husband to give this a try so this is how the bread look right now everyone I let this go for 25 minutes and oh my gosh it looks so good and it smells so delicious so I didn't add any sugar on this because we're going to be eating this with jelly and sometimes we just pair this with our coffee or sandwich so I don't want it to be too sweet that way uh, you know it's not loaded with uh, sugar so I'm excited for my husband to give this a try this bread everyone is so delicious oh my god I just tasted this and I like it it's not too salty it's just the salt that I just added, that I added is, it was just perfect. Definitely perfect to have some peanut butter on this one. Oh, I love this. Um, I cannot wait to make another one, but not anytime soon, but really, really delicious. So everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope that you enjoy watching me making this with bread. It was so much fun and the uh, outcome is perfect and it was so delicious definitely perfect for a sandwich or just a toast it's so healthy as well and you don't need a lot of ingredients so if you like this kind of content and you haven't subscribed to our channel please don't forget to subscribe also hit the bell that way you will be notified whenever i upload a new videos and if you are returning subscribers, thank you so much for your never-ending support to our channel. I will be uploading more videos soon. I just don't have a lot of time to edit, but I promise I'll be uploading again soon. Until next time, bye-bye everyone. Have a blessed day.